Now before you do the test, I'd just like to show you a couple of examples of clips so you understand how it will work. You'll see a clip and then the relevant movement I want you to write the root down will be repeated a couple of times. You just need to write the root down for that. So this is Harry Worth with the first example of arm abduction and adduction. So five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Gromit's going to show us finger flexion and extension, C7, eight. So seven, eight. So this last clip shows hip flexion, which is L2. So L2. I hope you understand now how the video clips will work and highlight the movement that you need to write down the roots for. So it's now time for the test part. The important thing is don't panic, but make sure that you're clear of which movement relates to which root. Um, whatever you do, don't go on to this part if you're not clear. There's no point in cheating. It won't be of benefit. What I really need to know now, therefore, is... Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Worn out places, worn out faces, bright and early for the daily races, going Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Ooh! Are we rolling tape on that? Then all the way up, and one, two, three, four, five, and all the way up, smoothly down, one, two, three, four, five. Why don't you just sing something, Chuck? Okay. I totally just farted. <laughs> I totally just farted! Oh, that farted. is good TV! It's now time for the answers. So you'll see a short clip from the videos previously repeated with the relevant movement, and then hear the related root. L3 kicks the knee. 5, 6, 7, 8. 2, 3, 4, 5. Seven, eight, seven, eight, C, four.
hip flexion, L2. Arms, five, six, seven, eight. L5S1 level. Good one, George, seven, eight. Six, seven. Difficult one, this. This is dorsiflexion of the ankles, L4. You have to think about this one, the movement that he's doing, L4. Five, six. Speaks for itself, this one, dysfunction, two, three, four region. S1. Three, four, five, one. Five, six, seven, eight. C7, eight. And finally, Mr. Spock, T1, only one Spock. It's pretty much the end of the podcast. I hope you have interacted with our suggestion and found it a useful and productive learning experience. Um, I also would hope that the format has been both entertaining and engaging, so I think that's a further important element of teaching and education. It is my honour to present the Oscar for Achievement in Directing. That's just too kind, it's, it's too much. I don't feel I deserve it, but I would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, some people who've been of help with the project. Every one of them did an extraordinary job. They did indeed. I'd like to thank Stephen, Tim and Matt for showing me how easy podcasting can be. Ian for help and advice with iMovie. And last but not least, everybody who uploads stuff onto YouTube without whom this would not have been possible.